Have you ever wondered how some of the most iconic logos capture the essence of an animal with just a few simple shapes? Symbolic animal logos are a blend of creativity and minimalism, transforming a complex creature into a memorable emblem. Today, I'm going to show you how to create your very own symbolic animal logo. This is a good website to generate random animal names. Scroll down. I click on this button to generate the names. Llama, Mouse, Fly. I will go with the Llama. I Google Llama photography images. I see that all the results are front view Llama images. So I add side view to the search, then I will pick a photo to trace on it. To get a good result, you should select a good reference image. Moving to Illustrator, Ctrl F to paste the image. This is the one I've selected. I reflect the photo. Then I lock it. I cover it with a black square. I reduce its opacity. Then I lock it. With the brush tool, using a bright color, I start tracing on the reference image and retain only the essential details. Try only to make circular and straight lines. It doesn't have to be perfect, this is a sketch, just capturing the essence of the llama, then we will build it perfectly with simple shapes. Now that we have traced the whole llama, I will join all the separated points. I select the two tips of these lines, then I press Ctrl J to join them. Now I do the same for the rest of the points. Now that all the lines are joined I'll start fine tuning the sketch by moving the anchor points and tweaking the curves by moving the handles. I move this segment a bit to the left. And this one I move it a little bit up. I change the position of these anchor points to match the back of the llama. The tail, I move it a little bit up. Then I refine the legs to make them look better. I select the sketch. And with the pencil tool. I trace on it, to make this part curvy, and the head a little bit smaller. And this is what I've got. Now, to make the ears, I trace it with the pencil like this. Then I drag it here. Then I do the same to the second one. And this is our rough sketch, I will build the clean version with simple shapes, then we will add some more details, I make a square here, then I make a circle, and then I decrease the opacity, I hold out and I drag the circle, and I align it with the sketch, then I reform it to fit the curve, I do the same here, and I keep reforming the circle to fit the curves of the sketch. For the straight parts I will drag the square. Then I stretch it to fill the sketch. For the tail, I put a circle here. Then I duplicate it and make it bigger. Then I align it with the sketch. Then I select the two circles. And from the pathfinder I click on minus front. With the eraser tool. I hold out and I drag over the part of the circle that exceeds the sketch. Then I continue to build the logo using the simple shapes. For the legs, I will trace over the sketch using the pen tool. I do the neck. Then I drag a circle here and align it with the head curve. Now I will make the mouth of the llama. I drag a square right here. I shrink it down, then I drag it here, and then I make it a bit smaller. Then I drag the white circle to make it rounded from here, then I do the same here. Now I select the mouth part with the head and the neck, and then with the shape builder, I hold out and drag over this part to delete it. To make the ears, I select the sketch outline, then I decrease the opacity, then I trace over it using the pen tool. I will make this part straight.
then I give it the white color. And then I make it rounded by dragging the live widgets. I hold out and drag the ear here. Then I hold out and drag this part up. Right click and I bring it to front. Then I select it along with the ear, and from the pathfinder, I click on minus front. Now that we've finished building our llama with shapes, I drag the sketch here and I delete it. No I fix any left imperfection. I shrink this rectangle to make it aligned with the curve, then I make this circle a bit smaller to meet the rectangle. Now I need to make the negative space of the legs rounded. So, I drag this circle and I overlap it with the second leg. I bring it to front. Then I select them together, and from the pathfinder, I click on minus front. I do the same to the other leg. I select all the shapes, then from the pathfinder, I click on unite. I aimed to infuse our logo with unique character, so I got inspired by the rich tradition of llama saddles. It is used since the Incan civilization for their strength and vibrant design. To make the saddle, I make a rectangle here. Then I color it with gray. Then I select these two points and I drag the live widgets to make it rounded from the bottom. Then with the pen tool, I make a U-shape line. Then I make it white to see it clearly. And then I increase the stroke size. I select these two points, and with the right arrow I move them to the right. Then I align it to the center. I select these two points, and drag this segment up, and then I drag the widgets to make it rounded. I select the line, and then I expand it. To make the nose, I use the pen tool to make a rectangle like this. Then I make this corner rounded. Then I hold shift and select the llama body. Then with the shape builder, I hold alt and I drag over the noise to delete it. Then with the direct selection tool, I select this part and I stretch a little bit to the right. To make the head stand out from the neck I will make a shadow effect by cutting out this part under the head. With the pen tool, I click here. Then I click here and drag to make a curve. Then I click here and drag. Then I close the shape. And then I select it along with the llama shape. And I hold out and drag over it with the shape builder to cut it out. That's it for today, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you found this helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more design tips and tutorials, have a good one, and see you next time.